Hello, Brian Comerford from Classroom Guidance with our 27 video, getting the best from open days and other career events. Thanks to Caroline Connell, guidance counselor in Our Lady's Green Hills for suggesting this one. Much of the information here was taken from careersnews.ie, so thank you to Tom Farrell for the great service. Many students waste their time and get very little from open days. The crowds, the stands, and the busyness at the stands, the food stalls, the girls, the boys, and the general messing can make it very easy to waste time and waste the day. These days are a great opportunity, so don't waste them. Before you attend, a bit of planning will save you lots of time. You will only have a few hours there, so planning in advance is essential. Before the open day, check the calendar of events in Qualifax Careers Portal or Classroom Guidance. Identify the ones that are relevant to you and list them in your diary. Look at the courses available on the college websites or on Qualifax. Get the day's plan, usually on the college site. Colleges have a timetable of talks, demonstrations planned. It's important not to miss out on the ones you want. Get a map of the campus and find the locations you need before you travel. What courses are you interested in? You can't see everything on the day, so plan to see those areas that interest you. When attending college open days or webinars, it's important you have a list of questions that you may want to ask. Things that you should know before costing your parents a potential bill of €60,000 for a four-year degree. This list is just a suggestion of 10 questions, but you may have many questions of your own. 1. How is the course structured? Are there module choices and electives? Are there different degree streams after the first year? 2. What is the average weekly timetable? This can vary hugely between arts with about 12 hours contact to sciences or engineering with well over 20 and how much self-directed study is expected. 3. Are there any jobs in this area? Do students get employment? What are the salaries? Do they go on to postgraduate degrees? Colleges will be glad to provide this information to you. 4. What qualification will I get when I finish the course? Can I progress to a higher qualification? 5. How will this course be assessed? There is a wide variation in assessment methods, even in one college. Mostly, assessment is not just an end-of-year exam, but will consist of a mixture of continuous assessment. There may be a requirement to produce essays on sections of work, projects and end-of-term exams. Ask about this. 6. How many students will be on the course? This can vary from 1,500 to classes of 20. 7. Is there an opportunity to take a work placement or study one year abroad? If so, will the college organise this? 8. If I'm having problems with the course, where can I get help? 9. What sports and societies are available there? 10. Does the university provide accommodation for all first-year students? Can you see the accommodation? What is the cost of the accommodation? What are the advantages and disadvantages of living on or off campuses? If you come away knowing the answers to these questions, it has been a good day and not a wasted one. Good luck and enjoy these days. They could be the start of a wonderful life. If you haven't already, subscribe to stay informed. Thank you.